God asking the nation, what, what you doing with my Bible? Why you trying to teach my people that God love everybody? Why you trying to teach my people that it's okay for man and man to lay down? Read. Or that thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth. What you doing speaking my word and out of your mouth? God is asking the nation this. Why are y'all doing this? Which one this is this? I mean, don't be ashamed because no because it's it's my uh this brother just showed me something in the bible i never seen it in the bible okay what was that god hates oh god hates so you don't believe god hates all right so let's see all right let's go to uh romans, romans 9 13 because this is the thing the so-called white man has taught us that god loves everybody right. however he don't love everybody he only loves you so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans. Yes. And God is only the God of the children of Israel. That's so right. Today you're going to learn the truth. Read that. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Read out. No. Jacob. Verse 13. As it is written, Jacob, have I love. It says, as it is written, Sister Dakota, as it is written in this Bible, he said, Jacob, have I love. Jacob is the, the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Read. But Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. So the question is, who is Esau today? Give me Genesis 25 and 22. We're going to show you who God hates, okay? Hey, it was a shock. Just, just the New Testament? The, yeah, that was the New Testament, sis. But we're going to go back in history and show you who Esau is today, okay? Because every nation in this Bible that was back then are still here today. That's right. We just got different names. Bring it out. You understand? Right. Right. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 20, 25, 22. Chapter 25, verse 22. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And the children struggled together within her. All right, start at verse 21. Verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. So the, uh, Isaac went to the Lord and said, hey, Lord, you know, my wife is barren. You know, we having trouble having, you know, having kids. Read. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. So she conceived. All right, read. And the children struggled together within her. So it says the children. So it was more than one child within Rebecca. You understand? It said they struggled together. Read. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So if this be of you, Lord, why am I thus? Why am I in pain? Why are these children fighting? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Uh huh. And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in thy womb. Whoa, it says two nations are in thy womb. So two different uh, races of people are in your womb. You understand that? Read. And two manner of people. So two different type of people. You understand? You with me? Read. Shall be separated from thy bow. Uh huh. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. So it says one of these nations of people are going to be stronger than the other people. Okay, read. And the elder shall serve the younger. And it says the elder shall serve the younger. All right, so I got a question. Today, who are the strongest people? I mean, who are, who are, who are the best people like in sports and, you know, uh, anything like sports? Uh, singing, dancing. Who, who is that race of people that's the best? Black. Who? Black. Don't be scared, sis. <laughs> this is you. This is talking about you, your people, right. our people. Right. All right? That's right. And the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. God's chosen people. Right. You understand? You should be happy that this is you. Right. All right? And it says, the, the elders should serve the younger. Read verse 24. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. So when her days were to uh, give birth were fulfilled, read. Behold, there were twins in her womb. There were twins in her womb. So we, we keep in mind, it's two different nations of people in her womb. All right, read. And the first came out red. The what? And the first came out red. So the first child came out red. You okay. understand? Read all over like in hairy garments. So he came out red and he was hairy all over like a hairy garment. All right, so I got a question.
What nation of people are born and they're red and hairy? How you doing, man? Right now we're going over the, the nation of Esau, showing who Esau is in the Bible, okay? The question I asked was, what nation of people, what race of people comes out red and hairy at birth? Well, let's make it simple. What nation of people comes out red? Who are red, who are red people? What nation? The who? The so-called white men. What we call them down here in the South? Red necks. You leave them out in the sun too long, they start dying of skin cancer. They are red necks. This is talking about Esau. And they're hairy all over. You take away a razor from a white man, he start looking like the caveman on the Geico commercial. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. They they really they really showing you who they really are according to the Bible. Right on. It says they're red and hairy. They're not white. They what? gave us they gave themselves that name to take some heat off them, but they're actually red. The Bring red up. man the Bible speaks of. Bring All up. right, read. And they call his name Esau. They call his name Esau. The Bible just said, but Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. What? Read. Verse, 20, uh, verse 26. Uh -huh. And after that came his brother out. So it says after that came out his brother. Read. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. So his hand took hold to Esau's heel. Read. And his name was called Jacob. His name was called Jacob. Notice. The Bible did not describe Jacob. Why didn't describe? Why didn't the Bible describe Jacob? Anybody? Because he was what? Say that in the mic. He was black. Say that in the mic, sis. He was black. He was black. Everybody in the Bible was black. That's right. Everybody, everybody in the Bible is black. Right. The children of the Bible are black. Right. That's the twelve tribes of Israel. The so-called blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans. Right. And you got to notice that, like I told you. God only deals with Israel. Right. He's, your, he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bring it out. Understand that. Bring it out. Which are us today. Bring Go to Joel 227. Because I made a statement that God only loves Jacob, Israel. Let's see what the Bible says. Forget my words. Read. Joel 227. Because in the churches, we've learned that God loves everybody. We're going to smash that doctrine today. Read. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. No, I'm in the midst of everybody. That I am in the midst of Israel. I am in the midst of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Read. And that I am the Lord, your God. I am the Lord, your God. Like, is that your daughter, man? Your, your, your granddaughter? Okay. Is that my daughter or your, your granddaughter? Is that my granddaughter or your granddaughter? That's a possession. You understand? So read that from the top. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the, in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. You understand? Read. And none else. And what? And none else. And none else. Not the so-called white man. Right. Not the Chinese man. Right. Not the Japanese man. Right. What That's Joel chapter 227. All right? Go, go to Psalm 147, 19. Bring it on, Psalm 147, 19 and 20. Like I said, the prophets are out here today. Joel 227. We are out here today to teach our people who we are according to the Bible. All right? All right, read that. Listen, li listen clear, carefully. The pastor's not going to read this in the church. They're not going to read this. I got a question. How long have y'all been going to church? Years. Years. 50 years. 50 years. What about you? You stop going. How long have you? How long did you go when you was going? Twenty-two years. All right. What about you, sis? A long time. All right. We got over. I'm gonna just roughly over a hundred years of church going people out here. You understand? So, have y'all ever been taught that y'all are God's chosen people? Yeah. You have. What about? Have you ever been taught that God hates people? All right, let's 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 go back into the Bible, read. Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Yo. He showed his word unto Jacob. So he showed his word unto Jacob. Who is Jacob? The father of Israel, okay? His name was changed to Israel. You understand? Yo. All right, read. 
his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So the Most High God showed his statutes and his judgments unto Israel, That's the so-called right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's we, right. He have not dealt so with any nation. He have not dealt so with any other nation than us. He only gave his Bible to us. Right. That's right. His Bible was written by us, to us, for us. Right. That's right. You understand? Read. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So the other nations don't know the judgments of the Lord because the Bible was not given to them. Right. Give me Psalms 50 and 16. All right. So sis, right now, don't, don't go away. We showing the, we showing everyone out here that God is only the God of Israel. Right. He's not the other nation's God. He's only our God. You understand? You got it? The book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. Bro. But unto the wicked. But unto the wicked. The wicked is the so-called white man. That's the wicked. That's right. Read. But unto the wicked, God said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? What what you got what you got doing? Uh, what are you doing declaring my statutes? Talk about my my you know my Bible. What? God asking the nation, what what you doing with my Bible? Why are you trying to teach my people that God love everybody? Right. Right. Why are you trying to teach my people that it's okay for man and man to lay down? Read. Or that thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth. What you doing speaking my word and out of your mouth? God is asking the nation this. Why are y'all doing this? All right, so, read. Sin, thou hatest instruction. Thou hatest instruction. The white man hates instruction. That's right. He don't follow nothing the Bible say, That's but right. our people love to follow him. He tell you that man and man can lie down. That's woman right. and woman can lie down. That's it's right. okay. Bring it out. He tell you that Jesus is a white man. That's My right. question is, hey, what, man, man. what race is, what color is Jesus? Black. He's a black man. Did you know that, sis? I can't speak in this thing. Yo! Come on, come on. Hey, now you said you got a problem. Right? God hates, right? Yeah. It's hard for you to believe. Did not God say, uh, love the good and hate the wicked? That's right! Give me Job 9 24. Bring it up! I gotta understand something. God loves one people, which is you blacks. The Spanish and Native Americans. That's right. We actually have a problem with the fact that God actually loves us. We've been hating each other so much. It's hard right. for us to believe that God loves us. That's you know right. Read this right. Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Here you go. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Who rules the earth? He said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Is God wicked? Satan. Satan. Well, who's ruling the earth? So called. Who's making the laws this day? Who? How about the white man is ruling the earth? Right? That's right. That's right. Is, he, is he not not is he not ruling us right now? Yeah. I see a sign when he tell you when you gotta be in the house. Read right. right. that right. again. The earth is given <laughs> unto the head of the wicked. So the earth is being ruled by the wicked right now, which is the so-called white man. The Bible calls him Esau. Read. Earth he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Who's the main judge on this earth? God. Who is his son? Jesus. Christ. He covered the face of the judges. Right. You see that right there? Yeah, come. Now, God. guess what? The white man made him white. Right. Christ is a black man. Right. That's right. The children of God are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. And they said they're the children of God. That's right. So they covered up the judges of the earth. We're the judges of this earth. Right. Read that again. The earth is given unto the head of the wicked. He covered the faces right. of the right. judges right. thereof. Read. If not, where and who is he? If it ain't the white man that's the wicked, who is he? That's right. That's right. 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 39 verse 19. I'm going to tell you something. The white man has killed, shed more bloodshed on this earth. That's has right. enslaved right. our people for over 400 years. Right. And he's killed us, raped our women, killed our men, right. put our children in prison. And you think God loves him? That's right. No. We're the children of God. Why would God love anyone that would do that to his children? That's, right. Right. That's pure yeah, hatred yeah. that he has for that man. That's right. Right. Psalms chapter 139, verse 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked. He shall do what? Surely 
Thou wilt slay the wicked. The Most High is going to slay the wicked. That's right. That's right. The so-called white man. That's Read. Right. Oh God, depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. So we're supposed to separate from these bloody men. That's we're supposed right. to separate from these wicked. We're That's supposed right. to come out the ways of the white man. Read. That's right. For they speak against thee wickedly. They do what? For they speak against thee. Wickedly. That's a wicked thing to make our savior a so-called Edomite. That's, right. That's a wicked thing to make the children of God be so-called pale face. That's right. That's a wicked thing. Read. And thy enemies take thy name in vain. They take the name of God in vain. They say that, hey, men can marry women. I mean, women can marry women. They say God be trust and don't, don't follow anything that the Bible says. Right. 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 Do not I hate them? Do not I what? Do not I hate them? Do not I hate them that what? Oh Lord, that hate thee? He said, do not I hate them that hate thee? Right. They hate God, so guess what? We hate him. Right. And am not, and am not I agree with those that rise up against thee? They rise up against us. They have enslaved our people, and we're still in slavery today. Right. They still killing us today. Right. So guess what, sister? We gotta learn to come back and love ourselves. That's right. We gotta come back and love the thing that God loves. That's right. And understand something. God loves you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's we are right. the children of Israel. That's, That's right. right. Uh, go to Ecclesiastes three and eight. Bring it up, cause it's today. You know, in the churches they tell us that you can't hate. But let's see what God says. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 8. Uh -huh. A time to love. It's a time to love. And a time to hate. And a time to hate. A time of war. A time of war. Read. And a time of peace. And a time of peace. You understand that, sis? Right. All right, so the thing is, we got to we got to separate like the officer was bringing out. Give me Revelation 21 and 8. Bring we it must up. separate ourselves Earth from right. the way of the, of the heathen. You understand that, sis? We can't continue on learning what, what we can't continue uh, keeping their traditions. Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, you hate God. Right. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, you hate God. Right. If you celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day, or your birthday, you hate God. Right. And we're going to show you out of the Bible, if you're doing that, you hate God. Read. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. Uh -huh. Real. 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 and unbelieving. And they're abominable. And they're abominable. Celebrating your birthday, going to church on Sunday, That's right. celebrating Easter. That's right. It's abomination unto God. Right. Read. Because the thing is, we all want the kingdom, right? You want the kingdom? You want the kingdom? So let's see, read. And murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters. Adultery. If you celebrating all this evil stuff like Christmas, Thanksgiving, that's idolatry. You celebrating you in idolatry. You understand that? Read. No. And all liars shall have their part in the light which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So when the most high God destroyed this earth the second time, guess what? You're gonna be a part of that if you celebrate right. all this evil custom. Right. Right. All right, so today we are out here to teach repentance, to get y'all back on top, to keep y'all uh, keep y'all out of this sin. So, we, this is not a beat down session. We just been to show you, thus say the Lord. You That's understand? Right. This is love. You understand that? You understand? Give me Deuteronomy 22 and, uh, 22 and 5. Bring it out. All right? Because the so-called white man taught us that it's okay for uh, his, you know, us to cross dress. That's right. Earlier, we had, a, we had a brother up here in a dress and a wig, and he, I thought it was a sister. That's confusing, you understand? Yeah, we can't have that. The God said, I'm not the author of confusion. Right. You understand? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Right. Right. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It says the woman shall not that wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It says neither should a man put on a woman's garment. A while ago, a brother had a dress on. He had a wig on. He had fingernails on. And it, like I said, we thought it was a sister until he stopped. He started talking. Read, read it from the top. Verse five: The woman shall not wear that 
which pertains to a man. So this is dealing with the woman. Earth what Earth. pertains to a man that a woman wear? What? You said a man that a woman wear? What pertains to a man that a woman wear? Pants. Pants. Okay, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man should not wear a dress. You have celebrities like Tyler Perry, dressed up as Medea. You got uh, Martin Lawrence as Shanene, Jamie Foxx. All these men, so-called men, running around here with dresses on. That's right. The Most High God hates that thing. That's and right. And that's why he said he's going to put you to death if you're wearing these things. That's right. Now, now, stay where you at. Read. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. He said all that do so are abomination to the Lord thy God. Give me right. Jeremiah 44. So, how does the Most High God feel about abominations? How does the Most High God feel about our men wearing dresses? How does the Most High God feel about our sisters wearing dresses? I mean pants. Let's see. Uh, 44 and 20. Was it 22? 4. 44 and 4. 44 and 4. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 4. Bring it out. How be it? I sent you. I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets. So the Most High God sent his servants. We are servants to the Most High God. That's, That's right. why we out here trying to wake our people up from this decayed state. All right, right. Right. Rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. It says rising early and, and telling them, do, do not this abominable thing I hate. The abominable thing is what? Our sisters dressing out of order. That's you understand right. that? All right, give me uh, Numbers 15, 38. Bro. Because the Most High God gave us strict laws. He gave us a dress code. You understand? And anything contrary to his dress code, that means you hate God. Right. You understand? Right. Read. Numbers to the 15 verse 38. Uh -huh. Bro. Speak unto the children of Israel. So he says, speak to the children of Israel. That's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Read. And bid them that they make the fringes and the borders of their garments. And bid them, command them that they make them fringes in the borders of their wow. garments. If you look at all us men up here, we all got fringes on the borders of our garments. Right. All right, read. Throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. It says throughout their generations. So as long as we're generating as a people, we're supposed to have these on. It says forever. This is a commandment. It don't change. It don't change when 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 my generation die, my son's generation go work French. Right. You understand? It don't change. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So he said the, the purpose of these fringes is say that for example, you was in the store and you was about to pick up something and put it in your pocket. In order for you to pick it up and put it in your pocket, you gotta go past these fringes. You're like, oh man, that should not steal. I gotta remember that commandment. It's a remembrance of the commandment. Right. Well, brother, if you was about to go lay down with a sister, you know what I'm saying, and you gotta take this shirt off. You take this shirt off, you're like, oh man, I can't lay down with you, sis. You know, we gotta get married first. You understand? Right. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yeah. Or I was about to go and uh, sh shoot one of my brothers and I got my gun under my, I'm like, oh man, that should not kill. Right. You understand that? Right. So, all right. That's what these fringes represent. It's, it's teaching us to keep the commandments. It's That's the remembrance right. of keeping the commandments. All right? So, give me Acts 319. Bring it out! Because it's the thing. We must change our mindset. That's right. We must change our mindset. Our mindset is so gunked up with madness, with foolishness, with hatred. You understand? We hate each other. We The, the so-called black man and Hispanic man hate each other. We look at each other like we're not even brothers. The most High God had to remind the tribe of uh, Simeon and Levi that they were brothers. That's they live on the same land and hate right. each other. Just because one of them one shade lighter, you understand? Bro, sis, we cannot think like that. We must change our mind. Read that. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore and be converted. It says repent ye therefore and be converted. What does it mean to repent? To turn around, to change. We've been taught in the Christian church for years that we must repent, but the pastor never know it. He never taught us wrong. He always taught us, oh, love this, love that. 
But if we don't know what we're doing wrong, how we know what to change? Come as you are. You come as you are, you leave as you are. The pastor's not in there to change you. He's in there to get your money. You understand that? We've been paying tithes for years and nothing has changed. We still getting shot down in the street. Right. We still hate each other. Right. We still murdering each other. Bring it out. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. So the Bible says change. Turn away from your sins. Oh, Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.